Hey everybody, it's Greg the Ghoul here and we're coming to you from with, just outside of the, uh, the warehouse over there. Uh, it's midday, leaving less alone at the warehouse. Hopefully uh, it's still standing when we get back. I'm sure it will be. Uh, so if you haven't stopped at the warehouse yet, we have some fantastic deals going on there. Lots of dollar bins, about $40 bins. I think we're going to add about five or ten more on the floor. Um, maybe get some padding or something to put on the floor in case you're on your knees down there. Uh, that'll probably be next week so definitely some more dollar bins are coming out even more than what you saw if you've been here last time um, it's June 11th depending on when you're watching this video so yes we're adding more dollar bins this coming week and uh, we just put out some fresh blu-rays new stuff so all retail price but um, I'm leaving midday because we have a big collection coming in now it's not that big it's only about like 30 or 40 comics but um, it's definitely worth it to go check it out. So stay tuned to find out what we have um, if I get it. You know, I gotta, you know, you gotta do the dance and uh, chat with the owner and see if we can get this collection. Um, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned, and I will um, show you what we got if we get it. All right, thanks. Ooh, doggy baby, that was some tough negotiation right there. I gotta tell you, great people that we got the books from. Um, they had come into the shop previously, and. Uh, really happy that we were able to come to uh, a deal on the books uh, I'm just fresh out of the out of their house so it was quite a, a tough negotiation back and forth on price for a while um, had some other stuff that we we dealt with so now there's um, some 1970s baseball and hockey and football cards as well that we have will take forever to go through and uh, we also got um, some figures some 90s uh, 2000s 2000s figures a lot of wrestling stuff so uh, stay tuned for the books though, because there's some killer ones here. All right. Hey everybody, how you doing? All right, here we are. We're back in the shop, and uh, just got a little bit. I got my spatolas waiting here, so I can't uh, keep Griffin waiting for too long. So um, just wanted to show off a little bit of what we got here in the shop. So let's take a peek. It's figures, cards, and then some comics. All right, well, just diving right in, I mean, these bins just started coming out, and I was, you know, trying to figure out, you know, bundle price for everything. We've got tons of wrestlers in here, you know, um, not in the best condition or anything, but these are some great figures in here, so um, not going to be too expensive. You know, they've got some paint chips on them, but they're fun front porch fodder or maybe at the warehouse. Uh, this is a great figure, this actually. Some turtles, just a lot of fun, like, dollar stuff, maybe five dollar stuff in here. And we got a belt, and this one also is filled with figures as well. And accessories, which is really cool, so you could, like, I think there's, like, a burning, um, Where's that? I can't find it right now. This thing, I love this thing. Creepy. Just weird. Um, yeah, so a lot of fun stuff in here. It's this part of the uh, smoldering can that can be broken apart. It's in there. So lots of fun figures. This stuff's going to be coming out in warehouse or front porch. Cheap stuff, but really cool. Okay, next up is the cards. So... Lots of cards, 1970s collection here, uh, hockey, baseball, I think there is some football in here, not too sure, yeah, this is like a football one, a little mix of everything. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out in the comments with this sort of stuff, not something we normally buy, or if we do, we get it for cheap in an auction or something like that, so if anyone has the correct place for me to look on pricing this stuff, or at least getting like general knowledge, like trying to find who should be in this stack like or or in, who should be in this pack that i should look for what card should i be looking for obviously it looks like some of this stuff's been mixed up um same here so 1970s baseball football hockey stuff love the graphics on this one too so really cool a lot of tops stuff here so i don't even know yeah like to me it's all i don't know I have no idea. But there should be some good stuff. Again, I know condition and alignment is a big deal for cards, but we shall see. 
So this is going to take some time to work through, but eventually it'll be out somewhere, most likely at the warehouse. But we'll put some big boys here in the store if there's anything that really pops off. And last but not least here, they've got some comic books. We've really gotten lucky lately with our Silver Age collections that have been coming in. Silver and Bronze seems to be the stuff people are pulling out. Maybe it's the, the age group that's walking around in New Hope that comes in. I've said it before to people, we don't actively seek out comic book collections. If they walk into the store, we'll end up, you know looking into it if someone wants to sell something i'll always talk to them about it but i am not actively buying comic books um we just we have a lot we don't need more um so that oops camera died out for a second there uh so i was saying like um it seems like the people that walk in that are interested in selling and talking about selling their collection are rather motivated people you know, as opposed to finding the, the flakier people who are on the fence about selling or something. So it always seems to work out pretty well for us. This was also this a similar type of collection. Someone walked into the shop, uh, had a pleasant interaction with me, and we just, you know, eventually they called back and we ended up uh, doing some business. So here's some bigger boys. Let's take a peek at what we got here. Some great Frankenstein stuff. Uh, James, got this uh, Iron Man waiting for you. Um, here's the uh, first Windigo. Very nice there. That book is always getting popular. It's heating up, I mean. And uh, Hulk 102, big premiere issue right there. Decent condition. Um, and look at that, another one. We just had one of these in the shop, and then we had one previously before that. Uh, so beautiful condition, um, you know, right in the mid-range. And uh, this time we can finally pair it. There we go, baby. 181. I think this might be the first time we've had one here at the shop. So very excited to send this right off to CGC. Uh, so yeah, we'll wait and see what we have, get with it. And we'll once we get it back, it'll be for sale, but not until then. Very nice looking copy. So, so there you have it. There you have it, another collection in the store. Very small. Well, then I wasn't kidding. It's was a small stack of comics, but it was well worth the drive. Great people to deal with. And um, we'll have some great comics to uh, put out. A lot of this stuff will go out ungraded. And, of course, we have this uh, big issue going to CGC. So hopefully we'll get a nice grade on it, see what it comes back at in a few years. Um and uh yeah it'll be great so thanks for staying tuned guys again if you know anything about the sports cards or where to direct me to look up pricing and like condition and stuff like that drop that down in the comments uh, otherwise i hope you enjoyed uh and look forward to seeing you guys in the comic shop have a good one